All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Glad that you could join me once again. I'm excited about today's topic. Really, all we're gonna do is just a quick little chat about websites for your small business. I hope by now many of you know that I have here recently, within the last couple of years, created my own uh, videography business. And uh, a website is something that I have here just recently added. But what I'd like to do today is just go through three questions uh, that you can ask yourself to determine whether a website is the right choice for you as a small business owner or someone who just wants to promote your side business or a hobby of yours or something that you enjoy doing. Maybe it's come to that point where you need a little more than just social media to further your endeavors. So the first question that you need to ask yourself is, do you really need a website for your business. First, you just have to say, is what I'm doing worthy of needing a landing spot, something to where people can be directed to that has all my information uh, and uh, promotes my product or whatever it is that you do as a small business. For me, as a videographer, my answer to this question was yes. Uh, for many reasons, but primarily because I needed that place to where I could show people my portfolio, that I could give my prices as a videographer, that people could just get to know me and know my work and see it. And it's all in one place. I do have a YouTube channel for my business. I also have social media for my business. But uh, people who are looking to invest sometimes quite a bit of money into you and your product, they want to see that you've put your thoughts together and you have a cohesive idea for your company. Now, for some of you, you might look at what you're doing and social media is enough or, uh, you know, getting the word out, word of mouth is enough for you and it's not worth putting the effort or the money toward a website. But that's the question that you have to answer first. The second question is what kind of website do you need for your company? Now I'm just gonna break this down into two areas. First, the paid website, meaning you have someone build it for you, or there's so many of these uh, user-friendly paid subscriptions, monthly subscriptions to build your own website around their templates and, and all of their different things. Personally, that's what I have, or a free website. Uh, both of these options have their pros and cons. Just very quickly, for a free site, uh, the pro is going to be that it doesn't cost much. Pro probably just your hosting fees, your domain name, but outside of that, you get to build the site the way you want or within the templates or options that are given on those free websites, and that's it. Now, with that, I believe the cons outweigh the pros when you look at free website design sites, mainly because you don't have good customer service. You oftentimes don't have a lot of tutorials on how to put your actual site together. With that, there's not many options. Oftentimes, these free sites have very limited options in their templates and their designs. And the other thing to consider is oftentimes they don't have good security. So if you're selling items, if you're if you're using or taking information from your customers, I don't know if I would trust one of these free website design sites. So then what are some pros and cons for the paid websites? Well, first off, uh, you are going to have far more flexibility and options within these paid site designers. Oftentimes you can flip uh, blocks and pages and um, you can change color schemes, uh, texts, fonts, 
You can also build it the way that you have envisioned it with their templates. And there's so many different options, forms that you can create. You can create uh, all kinds of text boxes. For me, it's really cool because I can create video templates and I can place in all of my videos for my portfolio and all of those things. Another pro is that everything is in one place, meaning I don't have to send someone somewhere else to buy my stuff if I were to have purchase purchasable stuff and, and maybe down the road I will but I don't have to send someone somewhere else it's all done within the website and they have all of those features all of the emailing all of the stuff that I would need as I continue to grow as a company so cons for a paid site obviously you have to pay for it so there's going to be a fee there as well as you're still limited in uh, perhaps your full design and you're still using their templates even though you can start from a blank slate you are limited to their pre-done templates and design uh, aesthetics and so you just have to keep that in mind if you really want something custom the best thing that you can do is just go to a website designer and have them build one for you so let's say you want to build a website and you've figured out paid or or free which one of those that you want to pursue then you need to ask the question what website provider do i use there's many different directions you can go there's plenty of uh, of these type of uh, website design providers out there uh, just go ahead and say build my own website in google and you'll find plenty of them uh, that are available. What I would suggest is that you do your homework, that you see what your needs are as a company and then pursue those needs in finding the right provider for you. For me, I chose Squarespace for many different reasons. It just was easy, simple. I love the workflow. Uh, I've been dealing with websites for almost 20 years. I've done my own build from scratch and I've used these plug and play and Squarespace just made the most sense for the options that I needed as a videography business, as well as the capacity to, you know, build my company and grow uh, and not having to switch my website to somewhere else as I continue to grow as a business. What I would say is just don't copy someone else's suggestions. That's why I'm not giving you, hey, you need to do what I did type of advice. Go and figure out what's best for you and your company. Hey guys, that's all I have for this one. Hopefully this was helpful for you in some way. Nothing that's mind blowing here, but just to talk through how you can uh, bring more value to your company and more uh, awareness to what you're doing as a company through a website. I hope you have an awesome week. Like and subscribe, I'd love that. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks guys.